artists standing for an end to human trafficking, and it's in a subject I know that is a concern to everybody. And uh, we are here now to hear from each of the artists of the event, their art, and also the connection to human trafficking for them in being in the show and in her art. I'm going to start with Joe because he's got to go off to another conference he's in. Hi, everybody. My name is Joe Dreher. Um, most of you may have experienced my piece actually coming in the front door and walking up the stairs. If you were worried about tripping, you may not have noticed because you're by looking down and didn't see the arms reaching out to grab you um, and the image that's on the risers of the stairs. Um, but basically, my work is usually um, more of an installation type piece, and it's usually something that happens very close to the end of the installation. Um, and it's usually, a, a, you know, kind of a risky situation for me because if something goes wrong, I don't have a lot of time to fix it. Um, but conceptually, my idea was to create uh, these bound, you know, a very iconic symbol of slavery or human trafficking or modern day slavery um, is, of course, the bound hands, right? So I had this idea of, you know, through education, through this exhibit, through bringing people here, how we could break those chains, right? So the idea is the two arms are bound by a chain that drapes across the stair tread. So as people walk over that paper, it starts to wear and tear, and those chains are broken. So very kind of simple, but effective, I think, and interactive way to represent sort of, I think, the kind of whole um, theme or, you know, goal of what we're all doing here. Um, my physical piece, other than that, that's in the show is the piece that's actually um, in the niche there on the way to the bathroom. And uh, it's an image, uh, multiple exposure, photographic image that's been transferred onto a panel um, and then uh, painted over. And uh, <clears throat> I've been told from the distance, I don't know if you all want to they can come over and take a look at it, but from a, from a distance, I think, and when you do a camera lens or a phone, it looks maybe like a screen, I've been told. Um, so some of you might see that. Um, I didn't even realize that until I got it here and someone said it to me, but um, it's basically another artist, friend of mine, uh, who I used to model for it, and she's posing with her hands kind of down and her head down and then with her arms up and her head up. And really it's a simple representation for me of uh, catch and release. Catch being kind of under someone else's control, um, feeling out of control, feeling you know uh, uh, enslaved, and then the feeling of being released from that and but still not being able to kind of forget it. So the freedom that comes with the release, but then that, that tragic memory of it. And that in my mind, that's something that we can all kind of relate to in our everyday lives. We have moments where we feel we are in control of our destiny and the, our future, and there are moments where we certainly feel we are very much out of control. Um, and so I think we can take those small feelings and small pieces of our lives and kind of magnify that in a way that we might be able to relate to that topic of human time. That's my work. Thank you very much.